Hunter cut the yard yesterday. Man, looks good. I'm about to put the push hog on the 5075E and we're gonna knock some stuff down. Y'all gonna see that here in just a second, but I'm finna let the two psychos out. And I'm gonna answer a couple of questions that I just recently got that I need to answer, and I'm gonna do it in the video. So I'll be right back. Look at it. Oh, come here. Look at Turbo. Boy, that joker looks good. I mean, I'm gonna knock all that wheat down, and all that wheat down over there. Take you a leak, boy. Hike that leg. There you go. You're getting to be a big boy, ain't you? There we go. Come here, Turbo. Come here, Turbo. Come here. Come here. He's like. Taylor's like, I want to be on you too. <sighs> Look at him. <laughs> Come here, Turbo. All right, here's question number one right here, and I answered this in the comments, but I'm gonna I'm gonna respond to it online here where uh, everybody can hear because I know there's other. I've been asked this before and I hadn't responded, and then I know other people want to know this. And they just hadn't asked, so I'm going to answer this question. But uh, in N. J. Blanchard uh, yesterday writes, uh, "Why do I put all the butts up front on the load instead of alternating and giving a more even distribution of weight in a bigger load?" So basically, what he's what he's wanting to know is, is why do I load like on log loads on those tree link log loads all the butts forward on the load, and it puts the load sitting at an angle like that because all the butts are bigger and so it stacks the butts up higher on the front. All right, well that's a great question and a very valid question, and here's why: uh, we all have. Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, all these states around here, we have weight limits. And uh, we run scales on our trucks. We run on every truck we have has onboard scales. So we know what they weigh before they leave. Every truck before it leaves is loaded to the legal limit. So in Mississippi, we can legally haul 80,000 pounds, but if we buy a harvest permit per each truck, every year we can legally haul 84,000 pounds in. In Alabama we can legally haul 80,000 pounds also but if you have the right tag if you buy the right tag for the truck then you can allow you to legally haul 10 percent more which is 8,000 more pounds so then you can legally gross 88,000 pounds. Some states up north can gross a lot more than that because the ground freezes, road freezes so they can run heavier but they also have frost laws that they have to go by so then they can't run as heavy when they're running into frost laws and stuff like that so we run the limit when when we load and the truck leaves out he's right just under the limit every time so the second part of that question is is why don't i turn the trees around backwards and alternate them so the load stacks up even like that right there well that's a good question the answer to that is the mills require us to put all the butts forward the only loads that i can turn trees around backwards are on we have two mills here that take one takes hardwood putt wood and the other one takes pine putt wood I can alternate those trees back and forth, but if it's a log mill, it, it tree length logs, it has to be loaded all but forward. So I hope that kind of answers that question. If you want to know about our scales, you can uh, search Cotton Top 3 scales, and I've got several videos that talk all about the scales. So the next question I've been asked, people want to know about Hollis Farms. I've been asked by a few people, you know, about Hollis Farms, but not really any, not really anything any major. I did have one guy back in February that really, really tried to start some crap uh, about that. But it's just, it's, it's simple. There's nothing, nothing has happened with me and Jason or anything like that, or his brother Brian or nothing. It's just the fact that you got to understand what it took last year. Okay getting them going and making all that stuff happen with Jason and I. All the videos that y'all saw, you're gonna still see some videos with Jason and I. It's just the fact that we have, he and I both, dogs, have a ton of stuff going on. And I really don't have, I, I don't really want to do the hunting videos um, 
the hunting videos are okay they're cool I have trouble with the hunting videos in YouTube and that's one of those things I mean you you take some of the stuff the blood and all that stuff like that is simpler if they don't get restricted is what what I'm trying to say and sometimes when they get restricted it really hurts you on what your video is doing and so I have opted to spend my time to do what I'm doing but uh, you're not seeing the Hollis Farms just occasionally on the end of the video just every now and then and that kind of started back back in February when I went to see Let's Dig to do that it takes an extra step or two to make that happen well when I changed it and I put Let's Digs up there and everything then I have to go back to Hollis Farms page grab their copy and paste their thing and then also add another step in to do the little note where it says check them out I have to add that stuff in there too so it's simpler for me and I change that every day except for what's at the end of the video where the subscribe is and sometimes I don't even do it on my own like this video y'all are fixing to watch right here it won't even be done on my own so uh, like I said nothing has happened with uh, with me and Jason it's just getting together to make it happen is just there's a lot going on he has kids they're playing ball I have kids that are playing ball I'm wanting to fish I want to put out fishing videos stuff like that and everything and uh, so uh, there you go so hope you all enjoyed this today it's a late video today but it's a fresh and hot video and I appreciate all y'all watching uh, I'll have y'all something out in the morning too uh, and uh, so there's been some good stuff coming out here lately I've seen some really good stuff uh, let's digs video yesterday where he was talking about Jose Cuervos and stuff like that that was pretty daggum funny and uh, just some other stuff Wes one only farmer uh, his live feed today was hilarious if you missed it a couple hours ago that was some funny stuff on that dude so we'll catch y'all later we'll see y'all how y'all doing y'all see cotton top all the time well this here is cotton wood now cotton top I was listening a while ago he didn't say no later taters so I'm going to do the later taters at the end of the video. And he also didn't do none of his other stuff either. Like where he says, y'all check out my stuff. Like my hat, my shirt, and things like that. I got a click of a link down below. Y'all can do that. And my Amazon stuff. He does all that junk like that.